Hi, I'm Chef Pyatt, and today we're going to be making mahogany butter crunch toffee. So first of all, we start with a sheet pan that we have greased and two cups of sliced almonds that we have toasted and crunched up. You, can, um, you don't want them in a fine powder, but you want them crunched um, just a little bit. We're going to take about half of those and we're going to sprinkle them on top of the sheet pan. You're just going to spread them out so that when we make the toffee, it will go over the almonds. Okay, now we're going to move over to the stove. Okay, we are going to take a half a cup of butter, one and a quarter cups of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of water, and we're going to put those on a medium to medium high flame and mix that together until the butter melts. And then we're going to uh, continue cooking it with a candy thermometer. Now we use a candy thermometer in this because it will register up high. You don't wanna use a regular like meat thermometer because they do not register high enough. So we're gonna get it up to 285 degrees, which is in between a soft and a hard crack. We're gonna continually cook, uh, stir this and so that it does not stick. So you're gonna stir this the entire time that it is cooking. Okay, now that our butter has melted in this, we're going to put our thermometer on the side of our pan down into the toffee mixture. Okay, we're gonna to continue to stir until it reaches the 285 degrees. Now, before I got started, I set my vanilla and my baking soda here next to the range because as soon as this reaches the 285 degrees, I'm gonna turn off my heat and add those to that immediately uh, because you don't wanna give it time to start setting up before you add the rest of your ingredients. Okay, we are there. You'll notice the red line on here will be right in between the 250 and the 300. We're gonna turn off our flame. We're going to add our vanilla and our baking soda. Mix that in quickly. And then we're gonna come over here and pour it on top of our almonds that we already have on our sheet. We're gonna spread that out to cover the almonds. Okay, and then after we get that done, we're gonna take six ounces of chocolate chips. I just use mini chocolate chips, but you can use whatever kind you would like. I just use mini chocolate chips because that's what I have on hand, but you can use any kind of chocolate chips. You can use dark milk chocolate, whatever kind you prefer. We're gonna take those and sprinkle them over the hot toffee. Okay, and then we're gonna slightly press them down so that they can start to melt. And we're gonna let them sit for just a couple of minutes while they get uh, melted. All right, so we've let this sit for a couple of minutes to let this melt. We're gonna take a spatula and spread it out across the toffee. And after we get finished spreading that out, we're gonna take almonds and we're gonna coat, uh, sprinkle them over the top of the chocolate. Then we're gonna set this aside and let it harden. All right, so now that we've let it harden, we're gonna go ahead and break it into pieces. This is our mahogany butter crunch coffee.